Hey there guys, my name is Marquez and in this video I'm going to show you how you can easily set up your template in Xero and how you can change your invoice template. So the first thing you want to do is go to top left and then go to settings. When you're going to click settings, then you're going to see here in under features, invoice settings. This is really great for creating a branding theme uh, for your invoice. And what you can do is just simply click here, new branding theme. Or you can change the uh, that you have right here. Now, when you're going to click on it, let's name it for specific invoice. Then you have option to cha change the page size, A4 US letter. You can change the top margin, address margin, a font, font size, also the draft invoice title or approved invoice title. Completely up to you. And then you're going to see also draft purchase order title and quote title. Then on the right side, you can enable or disable some things like show text number, show column headings, show item code, unit price and quantity, show payment advice cut away. Then you can see the show text column, registered address, logo. You can also hide the discount or you can show contact account number. And then you're going to see show text subtotals by. You can also text components or rates or rates over 0% or single text subtotal. And when you go further, then you're going to see also show currency conversion as a single text total. Or you don't show anything. Then you're going to see payment services. You're going to see the credit card. If you have in your system, you can simply choose it. Then payment services. You can add a PayPal here. And then you're going to see terms here and terms and payment advice and logo alignment on the right side. Click save. And voila, here we have it. When I would scroll down below, you can upload the logo. Right? Pretty easy, pretty simple. And now what I want to show to you is when I would go here to the demo company, demo company. I can like show you multiple uh, ideas. So settings, invoice settings. And right here, I see the standard or for a special project. And what I can do is to simply go options. I can edit it. And as you can see, you can edit it as much as you want. And you can also enter contact details. So for every, uh, you can create multiple invoice IDS and then you can simply edit it also right let me show you so that's what you can do and now you can go to top left new branding team and you can create a custom doc or standard if it's going to be a custom doc it's going to look like this so that's something you should definitely keep in mind and uh, if it's a standard, it's going to look like this. And I would come here and click custom doc. And this is a custom. OK. This is a custom options. And then I would simply edit it as draft invoice title, approve invoice title, overdue, credit no title statement, draft purchase order title. Then you're going to see also payment service here, uh, payment services. And yeah, so this is pretty much it. And this is how you can set up a new invoice and set up a new invoice. In Xero. If you can have any questions, guys, ask me down below in the comments. I wanted to make this quick video how you can actually do it because it's pretty important. Then you would go to the settings and you can also check up uh, the organization details and users and currencies. I recommend like adding that too and changing it. And when you're gonna have like the contact details and everything here, then what you would do is that you would go simply again back to invoice settings. And you would just edit the contact details. So this thing can be really effective for optimizing your time with Excel. And yeah.
Thank you very much, guys, for watching. Have a great day and goodbye. See ya.